A controversial energy exploration deal with an American company has been revised by the Somali government. The agreement with Coastline Exploration was signed in Mogadishu this week amid much fanfare. President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud praised the arrangement as beneficial to the Somali people. I would like to thank Coastline for its commitment to Somalia, as it has fulfilled its promise of investing here, unlike so many other companies. Coastline clearly sees significant opportunity in Somalia, and we share its vision. The Somali leader added that he would like to see Coastline go to work quickly. The federal government will do all it can to support this project, and we want the first exploration well to start as soon as possible. Coastline announced that they had paid the Somali government $7 million already upon culmination of the agreement. Their CEO lauded how the deal will help Somalia. Revenues from the discovery of commercial quantities of oil will be transformative for Somalia. The company's chairman also chimed in. With the right partners in place and a supportive government, Somalia's nascent energy industry can look to the future with confidence now that there is a clear roadmap to potentially securing a sustained domestic oil and gas supply. Coastline says they hope to find multiple offshore oil fields and that each discovered field could produce 100,000 barrels per day of oil. This agreement was originally hatched in February in Turkey amid much controversy. At the time, Somalia's petroleum ministry met opposition to the deal, including by both then-President Mohamed Formajo and Prime Minister Mohamed Roble. Formajo had forbidden government business commitments during the election period. There were also accusations of corruption in Coastline Executive's previous dealings with the Somali government when they worked for other energy companies. The deal was referred to the Attorney General by the previous government for investigation. The current government pointed out that certain elements of the agreement have been reworked to meet previous concerns. We reviewed the agreement signed in February 2022 to correct the process and the provisions of the agreements. The Attorney General and international lawyers specifically suggested that a change be made in a few articles in accordance with the laws of Somalia which we succeeded. The amendments made to the agreements reached up to five articles, which are annexed to the agreements. In order to win the confidence of the Somali population, the government needs to publish the agreement as soon as possible and on various platforms that can be easily accessed. They also need to make speeches or submit to interviews so that the deal can be explained completely and objections can be met. This agreement had been clouded in controversy. This controversy needs to be cleared up so that the government will have the full confidence of the people moving forward. ADN TV will continue to report on economic developments affecting Somalia across the globe. <laughs>